Hi DB Pension subscribers and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the truth about money helper telephone calls. Okay, so to start off with, what is a money helper telephone call and why do you have to take it when completing a DB pension transfer? So, first of all, we need to actually separate between a normal money helper telephone call, which is available to people to check in um, on any type of advice they're getting, um, a bit of guidance um, uh, from the government body. The second money helper telephone call is actually one where you are prescribed to take it by your defined benefit scheme when completing a pension transfer. I will save you for all the regulation and why this came in, but effectively, the UK government is trying to protect and help retail investors who are moving out of their defined benefit scheme to make sure they truly understand uh, what they're doing. So, how does it work in terms of the money helper telephone call? Your defined benefit scheme in the UK and sometimes also defined contribution schemes will ask you to complete a money helper telephone call once you've submitted all of your transfer paperwork. This effectively allows them to sort of put a tick in the box and say, right, they've spoken to a professional guidance at money helper telephone call. They've been given their reference number from that telephone call. As such, we feel more satisfied that this client is not being taken advantage of, or there's not a scam happening, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so really it is there to protect investors, there to help people. Now, a lot of you might find this frustrating, uh, particularly say you've been through or a six or a nine month process, which is what it can take to get a DB transfer done. To speak to someone again, asking about whether you, do you understand these are safeguarded assets? Do you understand you can't transfer back to your existing scheme? And this type of questions may frustrate you because you've actually become very knowledgeable on the DB process throughout. But in fairness to the money helper, they've got to do this. They've got to be there to try and catch those clients who maybe didn't understand. Perhaps they have been taken advantage of. Their financial advisor has promised them 20% return per annum or told them they could always transfer back their DB scheme at another point if they wanted to. Whilst those advisors, I'd say a few and five, between the money helper telephone calls are there to try and help clients possibly wake up perhaps if they've been taken advantage of or possibly um, some type of um, uh, scam so money helper telephone calls in my opinion really fantastic in terms of helping clients an extra layer of protection one of the issues <laughs> which frustrates clients is um, as I have a look on my screen now um, I'm just looking at today so I'm shooting on uh, the 2nd of um, uh, November as you can see on my screen here, the next availability for an appointment is actually the 24th of November. So this is why when clients say things to me like, gosh, how could it possibly take six months to complete a pension transfer? And I say, well, actually, you've got possibly a month for your DB scheme to complete your CEDV. That's often good. Sometimes they can take longer than that. Technically, they have up to a three month period to provide you with your CEDV information. Once they provide your CEDV information, it's generally missing around five, 10, 15, 20 pieces of outstanding information which we need for your DB report. You then possibly have a four week period um, of getting your DB report done. You then got all the transfer paperwork, then your seeding scheme in the UK has got to review everything. Then they may ask you to complete a money helper telephone call. So obviously today, 2nd November, next available slot is the 24th November. So that's instantaneously another three weeks at a minimum that has to be added on. Well, it might be shorter than that, like one week, two weeks, but generally we see about two to three weeks is the current wait time for money helper telephone call. So. Um, yeah, you just got to understand that this is why transfer process can take a little bit longer. The money helper team are there to help and protect you um, from making mistakes on your pension. Um, so whilst you might find it a little bit tedious, some of the questions, go with the flow. Um, understand it because it is there um, uh, to help you. Um, so that would be my uh, feedback um, on the money helper telephone calls. I think it's really helping the industry. And if one out of every 10 clients or one out of every 50 or one out of every 100 clients doesn't proceed with a pension transfer because the money helper call has helped them wake up to possibly some part of their advice which was not correct. Maybe there was high exit penalties, um, a commission bond, um, underlying commission funds, um, esoteric funds which perhaps aren't the safest things to invest in. Um, so from our perspective, it's a thumbs up um, for the money helper telephone calls because they really help to protect you as investors. Um, it'd be really interesting to know your experience with money helper telephone calls. Obviously, we have a lot of feedback from our clients here at Cameron James, but please let me, in the, let me know in the comment section below any thoughts or feelings you've had um, in terms of completing calls with them. And as always, take care with your defined benefit pension assets.